and then uh, reducing the cost of their obvious benefit by uh, evading taxes. Uh, so people are basically free riding our, our collective system, um, and 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 they are uh, they're doing that at the same time not sharing any of their revenue of, of their profit with uh, with the people who who generate it. Uh, but mostly uh, sharing the profits with the people who give them the money, the, the, the shareholders. This is like the old times um, when Marx was, was writing about uh, capitalism, uh, that basically um, there, there are two production factors, very, very crudely said. There is uh, capital and there is labor. And uh, under, the, under capitalism, all the gains which flow to the people who provided the capital, the capital, so the capitalists, they got all the benefits, while the laborers did not get anything. So this, this idea of capitalism, is now becoming more and more reality in this day and age, where where actually uh, capital is plays a more and more important role, because uh, because of this this belief that. Um, we need to maximize shareholder value. Shareholder value is everything. This, if you don't maximize shareholder value, um, your your stock will plunge and your company will make may go may go out of business. So every company is now trying to share uh, create uh, shareholder value. But what that means is basically is that the bigger part of the profits are flowing to the to the people who provide the capital, not the workers. That's why the workers in this day and age have such a weak position, um, uh, because basically they are not so important anymore. Um, a worker in the United States is actually making more money than a worker in Vietnam, um, and so much more money that it is, is profitable for an organization to outsource their business to Vietnam. Uh, so workers are expendable, capital is not. Uh, capital is, is, is crucial, so um, in this world we see more and more uh, of the power concentrated around people who already own the capital. Yeah, the recent tendency is uh, American people recognizing a uh, focus on the uh, middle income people getting more poorer. So they try to reconsider companies should more focus on workers instead of capital. So they should not focus on just so sided profit for share so shareholders. They need much more who the company who owns the company. Okay, they need much more focus on employees and uh, so give them more you know comfortable environment and the income and everything and so forth. So new tendency in the States they are like uh, recent very recently Many companies they change their strategy, much more focus on labor, labor rather than capital. This is recent yeah. tendency, okay. And uh, this one is how to save uh, their employees, how to save millions of people. This is a new tendency, is prevailing in the states. Right. Well, this is where like things like CSR, uh, etc., start to start to come into the picture. Where companies don't want to be seen merely as as these uh, money-making machines that are uh, creating value for the people who provide it with money, they're basically throwing each other money, um, but doing something for society as a whole. Uh, this is what, we, uh, what what many companies do these days, and they report on it proudly. Of course, it's it's partly window dressing, but more and more companies see the the. the the need and necessity to show themselves to the or to to the public uh, that they are that they are not just evil uh, that they they are not just uh, after their own interest but they also do something to give back to society that they belong to. Mm. So um, certain certain amount of people, certain level of people, are started to consider how to improve their society in the states. Japan, we don't do that. Okay, yeah, we don't have a kind of threat for for, for society divide or gap divide. Not so much like America. I think the the middle class, even in Japan, has been like disappearing. So, but I we, we don't feel so much when the unequal 
income distribution rather than what happens in, for example, U.S. So the subscaling middle class was actually only caused by income distribution, which is not equal for middle class itself is going breaking down for some reason, which is different from income distribution. You say you're talking about the United States? I'm, I'm talking about even in Japan. We have some different situation of middle class. Oh, really? Uh, with some 10 years ago, 20 years ago, when I was a child, and uh, I could see different situation around the, the child and our family. There was different kind of society, the community, right? Um, oh, you mean the community divide, kind of? Yes, that, yeah, that is what is called middle class disappearing, disappearing. Mm, I, I agree with that, that recently, this is not uh, their income, but this is because of their um, housing or living standard that has changed. Uh, like uh, uh, many families living in this, uh, in the condominium, not uh, house, so they cannot communicate with each other. They have no greeting each other. This is a kind of phenomena, especially younger people don't like communicate with neighborhood people, mm -hmm. right? This is what you said, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a problem. I think this is a problem, and. Uh, Younger people, and younger generation, rather than my generation, they don't communicate with uh, neighborhood people. This is this is true. I agree with that. So this is tendency, not individualism. I think uh, I don't know why why this kind of happening. I think we need to discuss it the other day. Well, I think maybe maybe one of the reasons to look for the reason as to why is uh, what you see, for example, in um, Christian society is that in during war times, so many people go to church. In times when it's difficult, people are in economic problems or say in absolute in direct safety problems. So many people go to church. They, they need the church because they need something to to fall back to something bigger than them, something that that can support them in times of need. But when, when everything goes well, the number of people who go to church is, is uh, dramatically reducing. Mm. Maybe the same thing is true in Japanese society. Society doesn't, they don't need society anymore. They have a, uh, they, they can, uh, they, everything that they need, they can get online, they get their friends online, they, they don't really, uh, they, they don't become isolated, mm. even though they don't connect with their direct and immediate neighbors. They they have, they still have their virtual world that they connect to, uh, that is uh, totally capable of replacing their, uh, the interactions with their with their neighbors. So it's basically they just don't need it. Mm. Like um, my parents lived in the same place for four or four or five decades, you know. Mm -hmm. They are very much acquaint acquaintance with the neighbor people, so they are very close to all those people. But recent people, recent younger people, they are working for the company, and the company uh, order him to moving around, so he does not have a chance to live in the one location for many years. This is the other reason. Mm -hmm. 